What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. Before this one starts today guys, I need you guys please drop a like on this video, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. Alright guys, so today what I am going to be showing you is how to rebuild an AMF cushion block. So on each machine there are two of these. Um, it consists of a bracket, obviously, and then you have the rubber block in the middle. It's just some basic tools you're going to need to do this job is two 9 16 open end wrenches. Um, you can have one as a closed end, it just helps if you have an open end sometimes because these tabs on here sometimes they're a little bent. But you'll understand once I start showing you. And you're also going to need a hammer. Alright guys, so you're going to start off, I would just put this right in your vise, just like this. Clamp it on in there. So what I would do, make sure these tabs are straight up when you try to do this. So take your flathead screwdriver, go ahead and bend it like that. Try to give yourself some room there so you can get that nut off of there. That, that should be good. Now what you're going to do, you can go ahead and take it out of the vise. Take your two 9 16 wrenches, put one on one side, one on the other. If you have a speed wrench, it makes this easier or an impact even better. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use a speed wrench. So now that you got that loose, get your nut off. There you go. And then usually you can pop this bolt right out like so. And then your block should come out. You'll see that you'll be able to get this rubber block out just like this. And as you can see, this one is pretty worn out. You can see around the bottom, it's all dry rotted and it looks like somebody took a bite out of it right here. So this is garbage. All right guys, so now that you got your bracket here, I'm gonna go ahead and take some degreaser, spray it on a paper towel like that. Just clean it up a little bit. It doesn't ever hurt to just give it a little wipe. And you guys know me by now, I like all my parts nice and clean before I use them. Nah, nothing fancy. All right, so now you are going to get your new block out. And for this one, I think this is the one I need, yep. Yeah, all right. So you're gonna place, you're gonna take a bracket, you're gonna, find that there's an open side of the bracket and there's a closed end of the bracket. You're going to take your closed end and put it on this side so that the wider side is on the open end obviously. So sometimes depending on the kind of bracket you have you can see this one's got a little groove in there. You could probably actually put this right in the vise and straighten it. Just a little bit. just to make it easier to put in there. So that should be good, just like that. I'm just gonna take my hammer, straighten it a little bit. Yeah, that should be pretty good. So now you're gonna place your bracket right over top of this. It's on there nice and smooth. You should find that your hole in the top lines up perfectly for your screw. So you're gonna go ahead and throw that right in there. You might have to squeeze a little bit on the bottom to get the rest of the screw to go in. Or you can just go ahead and give it a nice little tap with the hammer and you'll see it pop out of the bottom. Take your nut and go ahead and fasten. Now, when you are fastening this nut, you do not want to over tighten that. So what happens basically is if you over tighten this, it's obviously going to pinch each side of your bracket, causing it to come closer together. However, when it comes closer together, it's also going to move your mounting holes closer together. Therefore, when you get go to put this inside the machine, your holes are not going to line up and then you're going to be swearing at yourself. So you're going to go ahead and fasten the nut. When you feel it getting snug, stop before you start bending it. And there you go, guys. That's it. That's how you rebuild a cushion block. So you just repeat the same process from the opposite side. And these blocks are not the same. You can see if I hold these up closer together, there's the hole for the wel the curtain weldment um, is either on the high side of the block or the low side. 
So on each bracket, it's always gonna be on the upper side when you mount it on the machine. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment down below or email me at joethepro181 at gmail.com. Please drop a like, hit subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and have a good day. Thank you all for tuning in.